Alrighty, hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel, my glasses are reflecting so bad. <laughs> Today is going to be a lip product review video. I've accumulated quite a few over the past month or month and a half that I've been testing these out for you guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have, oh yeah, you can see some of the swatches because I already tried to film this. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that though, drop them in the comments down below. And as always, please subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So I will kind of just show you the swatches and show you the product since I already have these swatched out. Um, so we will start with this right here. This lip liner is Hot Topics Lip Pencil in Deepest Purple. Um, this is a very creamy and very nice creamy lip liner. I feel it is a stick liner. Um, I have noticed that it has a tendency to make my lips dry or flaky or cracky. Um, but I do really like it. I would just think maybe don't do it in the whole lip. Just do it like around your lips and not don't use it to fill in your lips. Um, I do like it. I don't know if I would definitely rec necessarily recommend it, especially if you have really dry lips. Just point that out. Next, we will go with the lipstick that is right next to it. So this right here. And this is Hot Topics Sure Shot Lipstick. These are really nice lipsticks. Again, as with the lip liners, I do find them a bit drying and like making my lips kind of flaky or cracky. Um, but it is just this really pretty um, berry red toned purple. It is just a, such a beautiful color. I really enjoy it. But that's always just something to look out for. Now next we're going to go to this Wet n Wild Fergie Edition Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stain. And mine is in the shade Runway Red. It does come with a very interesting applicator. It's more of like a, not a dull foot applicator, but almost like a spatula applicator. Or like a flat dull foot applicator. It's very interesting. <sighs> but um, this is it right here. As you can see, it is very, very shiny. And it dries down to about semi-matte. It does not go completely matte. Um... It does dry down a little matte, but as you can see, it's just this very pretty shiny pigmented red gloss. I find it's a really nice gloss. Um, it does have quite a, ooh, <laughs> it does have a pretty intense chemical smell to it, but you cannot smell it once you apply it to the lips, or at least I cannot. Um, I don't notice very much or any drying or flaking or cracking or any of that when I wear this it is a really nice product I would recommend this um this lip stain I typically use it as a lip gloss but very nice the next thing we are going to do is this MAC lip pencil in the shade Vino right here and just give you a little bit of that these MAC lip liners I find are very very soft it is that one right there so as you can see it is a very true dark deep berry purple with a hint of red running through it I love these MAC lip liners um, I find that they're so soft and so creamy and really easy to work with I don't notice any drying or flaking or cracking or anything like that when I wear them I highly highly recommend these <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I almost, almost ended up accidentally, like, choking myself out last night. Do not breathe in smoke when you burn macaroni. You will get carbon monoxide poisoning. And I almost did. Little tip to all of y'all. So if you see me coughing or yawning, it's because I was up all night because I was up coughing and feeling just like crap all night, so... 
But anyway, back to the, what this video is about, not my little sob story. I have a lip liner pencil, and or actually this is a gel lip liner pen, lip pencil. And this is from the brand Misadoro, and this is in the shade Bright Fuchsia. That was really loud. You can see it's just a little crayon type. Now, once you run out of that tip, that's it. The only way to get the product out is to cut it right down the middle and scoop it out. But it is that pink right there. And as you can see, it's just a very, like it says, it's just this very pretty fuchsia. It, I feel like it would go with almost any pink lipstick. I do highly recommend these Mesodoro lip pencils. The one thing that you have to worry about is you have to be very careful with the tip right here. It is so easy to break this tip off. Um, swatching it, using it, it's very easy, so I would just be cautious when using it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys is about, oh, 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 oh. <sighs> That was ugly. Is this e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in the shade Flirty and Fabulous. And this is what it looks like. Now again, you do have to be careful with these e.l.f. lipsticks as well because they are so moisturizing that they have a tendency to break or lean very easily. Oh, it smells. And these e.l.f. lipsticks... All the lipsticks, in my opinion, smell really nice. Um, but that is it right there. And as you can see, it's just a very, it's a very light pink, and it has a bluish purple undertone to it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's just very pretty. And I sometimes actually like pairing it with this fuchsia lip liner right up here. I think they make a cute little match. I don't really have any complaints about the Elf moisturizing. Lipsticks, they are extremely moisturizing, so I have a tendency to only wear them or use them when my lips are feeling really, really dry, because they just, that moisture just absorbs so fast, and my lips are just mm, all nice and smooth again. So I will point that out to you guys. And I have another Misadoro lip pencil here, and this one is in the shade Wine Red. This is a lip liner that I typically would pair that lip gloss with that I showed you earlier just to kind of lighten it up because it is a very dark, um, it's right there, it is a very dark red, very dark dark red, it almost looks like some of these darker shades right here of purple, it's just a very dark red, it's very pretty, I think it looks good. With light lipsticks, with dark lipsticks, like I will show you uh, two of the lipsticks that I normally pair it with. Or, uh, yeah. So normally I will either pair it with this, um, what is this? Uh, what brand is this? Remel, uh, by Kate, I believe. Yeah, it's. The Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick by Remel London in the red packaging. I norm I have the shade 107. This is the lipstick that I normally would pair that lip liner with that I just showed you. It's such a great lip liner. It's so moist or I mean, you know, it's not moisturizing, but it does it doesn't feel too dry or cracky or flaky. This these Rimmel, um, this Rimmel lipstick, I actually have a couple, but I don't have another one to mention to you guys. I absolutely love this every car is going to drive by right now. Thank you. I really enjoy these Rimmel, um, lipsticks. I find them, I feel, I find that they don't flake, they don't crack up my lips, they don't make them feel all dry and rough. They're just really nice. I definitely highly recommend at least this one by Kate the one by Kate. I've never tried the ones not by Kate, but I figure they'll be the same formula, so. This is that lipstick right there. As you can see, it's a very dark, deep 
lipstick, which is why I love pairing it so much with that lip liner. Another option that I like to do is I'll take this e.l.f. Glossy Gloss. Now, this, you, this color or shade you can no longer get. It was a limited edition summer color, so if you see it and you like it, I'm so sorry. As of right now, currently it is out of stock on e.l.f.'s website. They are not currently carrying it anymore, but they do still have this glossy gloss, just not this color. This is in the color Mary Cherry, and I almost didn't want to show it to you guys because of the simple fact that e.l.f. is no longer carrying it. It was a limited edition for the summer lip balm, but I decided I was just going to show it just in case they bring it back next year. Um, highly recommend um, the any of these. I have three. I have this one. I have a Bright Fuchsia and a Mellow Mauve, which they no longer sell, but by those three, I think that the other ones that they're selling right now will be just as great. Highly recommend that. And that is what, that is that lip gloss right there. It almost looks like the um, Wet n Wild one right up there, except for this one is a lot darker. I think it just looks really nice doing the dark and then putting something lighter on top to kind of not make it so intense. That's just what I do, but I really love that um, lip gloss. I find it very, very nice and long wear, and most of these are pretty long. <coughs> <coughs> are pretty long wearing. Um, the next thing I have is a ex is an icing long lasting expert lipstick. And you guys, unless you're new to my channel, if you're new to my channel, hello. Um, if you aren't new to my channel, if you've watched my channel before, you know that I talk about icing a lot. Icing is a um store in the mall, in the local malls, that was created by the people who created the store, Claire's. So they're very, very similar. Um, I just have this lipstick right here in the shade Tropical Purple. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the shocker? Oh yeah, another thing. These do break pretty easily, so you do have to be careful. But I love this lipstick. I actually find it very moisturizing, long wearing. Like when it says it says long lasting, it means it. This puppy is so great in my opinion. Um, but that is it right there. It's that very pretty um, pinkish shade right there. Most of these I don't hate. I mean, if ha like I mentioned in the beginning of the, of the video, there were a couple that were like. Uh, but they're they're mostly all pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on though. So the next thing I'm going to mention is another <laughs> is another Wet n Wild Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stain, and this one is in the shade Throwing Shade. <laughs> So it has the same kind of applicator that I mentioned to you guys about earlier. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful shade. That is it right down there. I think that it would look great with any one of these, with these two dark lip liners up here. It is just a very pretty dark um, lip gloss. These do have kind of a semi matte finish to them keep that in mind um, I didn't find them again I didn't find them drying or anything so next is this hot topic matte lip cream in the black shade oh you guys I'll show this to you and that's kind of a mixed oh you guys because Oh my goodness gracious, this wears so great. It's so it's, it's so amazing. I really do enjoy this lip cream. It's really nice for one of those days where you're just wanting to go all out and dark and crazy. But this thing destroys, 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 destroys my lips. 
because it is matte, which means it's going to be dry. This thing ruins my lips. It makes them rough, it makes them hard, it makes them dry and flaky and cracky and it's they're so bad it takes weeks for of lip balm and chapstick to recover them after wearing this for six or seven hours it's terrible but i love it i love this lip cream and it's amazing that is what that color what that color is right there that is just such a great true dark black it's so beautiful Highly recommend. So now I have a MAC lipstick here. And this is in the shade Cyber. <sighs> I'm so ashamed right now. And it is a satin finish. This is what it looks like. I'm so sorry, you guys. I really need to... I'm working on it. I had such a rough night with that. With what I was telling you about earlier with getting too much smoke and dealing with all of the side effects on that and stuff. I do want to point out real fast that I highly recommend this lipstick. Um, I find it's great. It's super long wearing. It's such a beautiful color. It does have a tendency to make my lips feel a little dry and a little on the cracky side, but it's amazing lipstick. That is it right there. Look at that color. How could you not love that? It's not coming off so much on camera, but that is just a true deep, dark, purplish black. It is so amazing. Next, I have a NARS Velvet, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella. And the funny thing with this is this one, these are so smooth, so smooth and so soft. And even though it is a matte lip uh, product, I do not find it drying on my lips. What is going on with my lighting? Oh my God. I do not find it drying or anything like that. I actually really enjoy this and would recommend it. And it is that color right there. Such a beautiful shade. So amazing. It's just this true dark red, kind of just like the other ones right up there. Okay, next I have a Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lipstick in the shade Elderberry. And just like the other, the NARS thing that I just mentioned, though it is a matte cream lipstick, I do not find it super drying or flaky or, or cracky or anything like that on my lips and it wears so great it wears for so long it's so beautiful it does it's actually really nice on my lips so that's why i'm thinking bite beauty because they're organic um makeup line must have different ingredients in their matte stuff because that hot topic one destroys my lips and that crew that nars one is borderline but that is it right there. I know it almost looks black. Even in person, it looks pretty much black. But it is a, it's, that's just how dark of a purple it is. It is just extremely dark. But it's, I recommend it so much. Um, you, it is, and it's, even with one swipe, you can't get it to go much lighter than this. Most of these colors you can work with. But, especially this black one right here. But these two, mainly, they're not going to go very light. Um, next, we're going to go to the Bite Beauty. A Bite Beauty Lush Fruit Lip Gloss. And this is what it looks like. It's in the shade Bell and I. And it smells, one thing, it smells so fruity. It just smells so nice and fruity. Let me just get some out for you guys. I really enjoy, I have a couple of these. And I really enjoy these little uh, fruit lip gloss things from uh, Bite Beauty. <laughs> They're really nice. So that is it right there. Um, they don't really, 
they kind of dry like semi matte but they don't really completely dry down they're just this really shiny nice thing on your lips I highly recommend these love them to death and the last thing I wanted to talk about is this Claire's Cinnamon Roll with Icing Lip Balm. It is a clear lip balm. I'll just it has it looks like it has color, but it just a clear lip balm. It smells so nice. It smells like cinnamon. It is so nice. This whenever I have any of these matte lips sticks or lip pencils or anything that are destroying my lips and making them so bad whenever I take them off I immediately put this on because it like it like fixes it it fixes it it makes them feel so much softer and smoother and just like I didn't even put the stuff on there uh, so I pretty much recommend most of these products I think they're pretty great products of course it is just your own personal preference and how your lips work. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!